viewers, welcome to Glam Secret Skin Care Channel. I'll be showing you how to make a very effective dark knuckle cream. So if you have dark knuckles, you have dark elbows, you have dark toes, then this recipe that I'll be showing you works very well for any of those issues. Now some of you may have dark knuckles that have been persistent over time. Um, with this recipe that I'll be showing you today, just using two products, you'll um, say goodbye to dark knuckles. So I want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel and if you've subscribed and you're watching this right now, please just do me a favor by pausing right now and clicking on the subscribe button, that's the red button below. And also do not forget to turn your notification bell on so that you'll be notified every and any time that I get to upload a new video. So today's video is going to be a short one, I don't want to waste time, I just want to go straight to today's video. Now the main ingredient that I'll be using today, or the main product today is the All Net Cream. So I'm going to show you guys what the cream looks like now. So this is the All Net Cream. This is the cream that um, we're going to be using for today's video. Now, um, first and foremost, I want to um, make us understand the reasons why we have dark knuckles. So there are various reasons why we have dark knuckles. Um, you know that the knuckle, the elbow, the knees are the toughest part of the skin. And because of that, also the spots are folded, they're the joints. You know, so we keep releasing, stretching. Um, making folds with those parts which result into those parts being stressed out and those parts therefore have darker I'm um, sorry those parts have thicker and more colors um, skin so when you are um, taking your bath and you do not concentrate on those parts you're sure to make those parts tougher and more resistant to any lightning cream if you're using a lightning cream or any cream that you're using at all so the major reason of um, for having dark knuckles, apart from using creams that are really ash on the skin, like hydroquinone cream, the major reason is that those parts, you're not really working on them like you should. So I always advise that if you do not want to have a dark knuckle, exfoliation is key. Like I always say, use a very good scrub to scrub those parts at least three times a week, you know, and by then you get to start having softer skin on those parts. And then when you're rubbing any cream, it absorbs easily into that part so this is just for you that have dark knuckles so that you can take this preventive measure so that there's no repetition um, of you having dark knuckle so the whole night cream is what is going to be the major the base that we're going to use today now let me just quickly read what um, is written here so that you can see that this is a very good product it's also written here that you just apply a small quantity of the product to the affected area massage thoroughly for best results, avoid exposure to sunlight during use. Now I'm going to read the ingredients in this for you to know what this is being made of. So it's a really, really, really fantastic cream. Really works well if you have um, dark knuckles, dark elbows, and all of that. Yeah, now the beautiful thing, the thing I like about this cream is I also can just tell sheer bottom. Another reason why you have dark knuckles is if your skin is dry, you're prone to dark knuckles and you're prone to stretch mark. So that's why you have to make sure that your skin is well moisturized. So this cream that I'm using here, the ingredients here that it contains salicylic acid, which is a very, very good exfoliant, and it also contains sheer butter. So this is just going to help to just take off the dead, you know, skin cells and then reveal a new skin cell. This product is actually a treatment product, so it's not meant to be used like almost forever. Once the issue of your dark knuckle is solved, you stop usage, please. You stop using it because it's more like a treatment cream. It's not something that you keep using over and over and over again. You use and you've gotten a, a, a good result. Just stick to maintenance by scrubbing your dark knuckles and by also staying on a maintenance cream. So I'm gonna take the um, this is the Elna tube, and I'm going to just take a spoon of it. That's it. So the next thing that I'll be using, now if, if this is the only thing you have, you're good to go. If this is the only thing you have, the whole net tube, you are very good to go. It works very well on your skin. And by three, five days, you get to start seeing results. Yes, I mean you get to start seeing results. So if this is the only thing you have, you're very good to go. But I always like to mix it with another cream, and that's the Pata Pata. Yes, the Pata Pata cream. This is another fantastic cream that works for dark knuckles, dark elbows, dark and very hard to reach areas. So I'll be taking the um, dark knuck, um, the Pata Pata cream, and I'll be mixing it in the Elnet cream, and that's just the recipe. 
So I'm going to explain how you're going to use this for good results. So that's it. We all know that we need AHA, alpha hydroxy acid, to help with exfoliation of our skin, like the glycolic acid, the lactic acid, the malic acid, and the salicylic acid. So that's why I majorly like to use the salicylic acid, um, products that contain salicylic acid or lactic or glycolic acid when I have to take off dark parts of the skin. So that's why I'm using this. So, um, butter butter tube contains clobetasol. This is um, what it looks like. It contains clobetasol, which all that does not contain. So that's why I'm doing a mix of both. And that's why I said this cream is not a regular cream. It's a treatment cream for your dark knuckles. And when the dark knuckles are gone, please, you stop usage. Now, um, after the dark knuckles are gone and you then scrub every time and use a maintenance cream, you can come to using this cream once in a while. You know, um, you can use it once a week or twice a week depending on how you want to. And please, and please, it's important that when you're using this mix, you try and avoid sunlight, please. Avoid sunlight because the acid, the salicylic acid is gonna react with the sun and it's gonna cause further damage to your dark knuckles. So that's just it. It's a very simple recipe, like I said. That's, that's all about it. So just uh, mix it together. Uh, make sure that it's really, really incorporated into each other. Okay, it's incorporated into each other, and because of the salicylic acid, salicylic acid in the olive tube is going to turn a bit uh, milky, watery like this. It really doesn't matter. This it's absolutely fine. If, you know, if if it doesn't even do this, that's when you know that you're using a fake product, and that's it, guys. So please and please, when you're using this cream, do not rub completely on all your palms, please. Just well, make a feast and rub on those dark areas. Rub it in will let it be absorbed and do this between the next five to seven days and watch your knuckles get fairer. So thanks guys for taking our time to watch this video. So please try this out and drop a comment for me if this has worked for you. So till my next video, bye.